We just completed our 500th Grand Coffin. A lot more than I ever thought I needed to do to get the Ring of Endurance, but you know, here we are still missing the Ring of Endurance. But now we are two and a half try because it is a 1 in 200 chance from the final chest. But we're gonna get it eventually. Just, you know, be persistent, do it one hour a day, and we'll get it. If only these didn't take like seven, eight minutes of run, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm doing enough agility as it is, you know. Oh shit, I hit 20 more agility already? Is this an agility course? It's the best agility course in the entire game. Whoa, I just got a PV. What the hell? That's actually sick, man. I didn't even, didn't even know I could PV. I thought I peaked. Oh shit, a new PV again? Damn, I PV twice today on the same floor. But one second each time. Oh, wow, look at the servers, guys. It's amazing. Amazing servers. Alright, guys, I pretty much out all the stuff that uh, I showed you guys once on the price check. It was like a hundred something mil. I'll just show you now. They're all gone, pretty much. All the rune stuff, there's like none left. And yeah, look at my cash stack. 411 mil, dude. What the? F oh, wow, I actually ran through the flame. Oh shit, new PB. Oh, sub six minutes, bro. Hell yeah, let's go. Looks like I still got it, boys. I still got it. You know, we, we need some PB sometimes. Keep up with this dry streak, man. Damn, bro, this is it. 600kc at the Sepulchre. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three times dry. And uh, we are at 21. 0.2 million experience goodness that's such a process bro holy shit 2000 feet oh my god dude yo bro we got it oh my god dude literally on the last run oh my god dude let's freaking go dude holy shit Woohoo! Yes, that's awesome, man. Holy shit, I actually got it, dude. I didn't go as try as Bio Fighter staff. Thank God. I, you know, instead of 5.5x try, we only went a little over 3x try. It's time to do the thing that I've been wanting to do. So, this ring is really complicated. You know, its effects is as long as modern day Yu Gi Oh card effects. Alright, so it has like two big effects, right? The first one, if the player consumes a dose of stamina then that stamina pot will last twice as long that's the first effect the biggest one and then the second effect is if this ring has 500 stamina doses charged with it then you get a second ability it passively reduces the run energy drain rate by 15 percent right so you technically use less stamina overall let's just be careful let's just do four charges and let's see if that means one whole potion. I think that's one whole potion. Okay, it is. All right, cool, cool. Now, that means I, I don't need to be afraid. I'm just going to charge it all the way. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Damn. I don't know why I was thinking, like, one charge is one stamina pot. But no, it's four charges, one stamina pot. Okay, so this thing's maxed out. We're good. We got a lot of really, really, really uh, awesome places. Uh, so right off the bat, the things I want to do with this ring is... We're gonna do some crazy scale solo race with it, just for fun, you know, to really push the ring to limit. Practical use, I'm gonna be using a Blast Furnace, I'm gonna be using a Giant Mole. Uh, I think I will have some fun and test out some Sarah with it, and I'm not sure, maybe one or two other activities. I'll figure out what I want to show you guys at some point. Hold on, I gotta head over to Sepulchre real quick for something here, because uh, I can actually store these now. Okay, so you can store the tools, that's about it. Ah, okay. Uh, I was hoping they could store with, like, maybe some other stuff, you know, like Marks of Grace, but I guess it's, they're not tools, so whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and do some testing here to show you guys physically what the drain rate difference is when running with and without the ring. So I marked a starting point here, and you can't see the ending point because, um, yeah, I made it pretty far. But basically, I have, like, an ending point right around uh, here. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. What I marked from start to finish was 67 steps. All right, we're going to go with the first test here without the ring. All right, here we go. 
About to reach it here. How much run do we use? Alright, we used about 20 to run. This time we have the Ring of Endurance on. We're just gonna run back to the start. And yes, let's see if we end up using less than 20 to run. Here we go. And we are definitely going to do that. We got here at 81 run energy. So we only use 19. So to cover the same distance, I use three less run energy. Wow. One more comparison is going to be when I'm drinking a stamina pot because that is going to be one of the most common scenarios with the Ring of Endurance. So the Ring of Endurance has the 15% slower drain rate for running, but the stamina pot has a 70% slower drain rate as well. So I would assume it just stacks to about 85% slower run rate which means that your run is essentially twice as long, almost. All right, we got ourselves 94. All right, so we use basically seven run energy without the ring, so here we go. This is with the endurance ring stamina body. Here we go. All right, this one was 94. So there is a difference, although a lot smaller, but it makes sense because you are draining a lot slower than normal. Me and the boys came up with this idea to run from one edge of RuneScape like to another edge. So we're gonna go from all the way to the east side here at the sleep dock, all the way over to the uh, Priv Dennis dock. And we're gonna try to run as much as possible, you know? So we're gonna go through a route that uh, has the least like walking and, you know, stopping. So it's gonna go along the lines of something like this. We're gonna go up here, follow my mouse, you know? I'm gonna go across here, across here, across here, and I think down here, and then across here, down to the gate, and then go straight across to the city. From sleep to Varak took four minutes, Jesus. That's quite the run. And we are still on our first stamina dose, guys. We're still on our first one. So I finally drank my second stamina dose at around Faldor. And if you look closely, I gained 40 run back instead of 20 from that one dose. And it lasts four minutes instead of two. There it is. Oh, we finally reached it. Took a little bit over 10 minutes. Damn. There it is, the dock. Oh shit, we got people here. I just got, we got ambushed. Hell yeah, we made it, boys. Only took three doses of stamina and uh, two doses of super energy. God damn, this Ring of Endurance is crazy, bro. Before I use the Endurance Ring for more practical, more day-to-day -day average you know, player uses, I want to go do one cool challenge with the Endurance Ring that is now possible because I have it. And that is to solo ohm that is scaled for 21 people. Yes, you heard it, 21 people. It's gonna be insane. In theory, the ring should allow me to run long enough to make that possible. Of course, it's gonna be challenging, but we're gonna start off with a one plus 10 solo ohm challenge first, just to get an idea of how it's gonna work. And if it works out really well, and you know, I got tons of supplies left over or whatever, we can definitely uh, go right ahead into the one plus 20. All right, so for the purpose of these scale rates, I'm not really trying to get like as many points as possible. So I think there's a chance that 1 plus 15, 1 plus 20 scale, I'll help people actually help me clear these rooms so I can just get straight to the ohm. Because the main point is to showcase the ring. And where I use the ring is at ohm and not at these rooms. Yeah, I'm going for a more offensive strat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yo! So for this 1 plus 10, I was going to try to solo everything on my own. And I did do that, and I got all the way to right before Ohm. I was about to go in, and unfortunately, I got kicked out. My friend who was hosting the raid, he forgot to rank me, and he got 6 hour logged in the raid. So unfortunately, we lost all that progress, but we're going right back in and do it again. Except I'm going to say screw getting all the rooms done by myself. I'm... Just going for the ohm this time, you know, to save time. Okay, so we're back at home. Uh, I think we're just gonna go with this test here. Four overloads, four staminas, purple sweets, uh, four brews. Doesn't show, but I will have four. Two restores, two enhance. So uh, some of the times I might not be overloading or 
you know, drinking MDs. Because I'm just going to do a lot of strats where I just don't take damage. Got to really conserve supplies, you know, and make it last all the way. Okay. All right, we are pre-potted. It is time to give it a shot here. All right, hopefully we didn't... Hopefully we don't regret the stuff that we brought for this setup here. Estimate time on completion. Uh, somewhere between one or two hours, I think. This is going to be a lot of clicking. Back and forth and back and forth. Ah, uh, yeah. Just got to make sure we are patient and not rush this. Oh shit, no, dude, that hurts. Okay, that's fine, because you know why it's saying staff, you know, saying staff's gonna heal me back up. I can still make some mistakes, but yeah, I just can't make too many mistakes. I can make enough mistakes to the point that my saying staff can heal me back up, but... But yeah, that's the, uh, the extent of the mistakes that I can make, though. We just finished the hand, now we can just do this and, uh, take it easy. Okay. Alright, okay. I think what I can do is, uh, I can probably do some four zeros, yeah. The rocks are falling at a really good spot right now. Alright, I have plenty of prayer, I think, so, yep. Okay, right now the rocks are falling at a really, really good spot, so I can four zero. Yeah, I think this is good. I think a 20-man scale is definitely uh, going to be somewhat alright. If it's a linear scale, yes. Yes! Is this it, boys? Oh my god, let's go, dude. Wow, oh, nothing? No, no, nothing. That was a great uh, test. That was a great test. Oh, wow. Damn. That, that's crazy. Look, I we did a 10-man scale. Uh, somebody forgot to log in. But it doesn't matter. Dude, we still had five doses of stamina. Wow. That's actually insane. We still had five doses of stamina. And I still have one overload left. So yeah, man. I think I think it's looking good. I think it's looking good. Uh this whole pl one plus twenty, you know? And we can do it fast. This ohm only took about an hour with the ten man skill. So so the results are looking great, so I'm excited to actually give the OnePlus 20 a go in the next video. Although it's going to be so much harder than what I just did now, but we are going to push the Ring of Endurance to the ultimate limit in that challenge for sure. Alright guys, it's time to finally store all these uh, treasure trail stuff in my house because yeah, they changed the house storage. So that you can store um, incomplete pieces and multiple pieces. Yes. I've always wanted something like this. And uh, it's awesome to see that it's actually happening. So yeah, let's freaking do it. Let's uh, store all this stuff. Uh, I don't think you can do it noted. But yeah, let's go and uh, store all this stuff. And I guess I'll show you guys what I got in my, in my house. Once I do all this. But here's a quick look before uh, everything goes. Alright, treasure trail stuff. How does this work? Holy crap! <laughs> Yo, that's awesome, man. Wow, that's awesome. Wait, what? Uh, these don't work. I guess that they don't count. Wow, but that's amazing, dude. That's dude. Every time I do these clue scrolls and I get a unique, I'm I'm going straight to my house to store them, man. All right, all the samurai. Wish I had the complete samurai set. Man, what if, like, Jagex accidentally fucks up and, like, all the items in the house just gets deleted later on or something? Nah, 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 that would be ridiculous. All oh, right, these are the easy stuff. Uh, okay, so we got... Wait. Oh, okay, that's how you see it. All right, cool. All the medium stuff's here. Got a bunch of them. But these aren't too interesting because none of these have crazy values. But I definitely saved a bunch of mink space. Uh, the hard stuff is somewhat notable, you know. No, no dirt age, so that's unfortunate. Uh, what else? Uh, completed D high set, the Armadale, so that's cool. Ooh, I actually completed Bandos. Cool. Enchanted completed, actually. Cool. Oh, Guptix actually completed. And armor, too. And a D hide. 
And uh, almost completed. Oh, actually, there's a shield variant, so never mind. Not truly completed, but close enough, I guess. Damn. We did complete a lot of these in the uh, Heart Clue scroll section. Not bad. All right, here we go. The Elite stuff. We're still working on the Elites a bit, you know. Just because uh, Master Clues from them sometimes when I can't make Masters out of the Elite itself quickly. Almost completed the Royal set there. Damn, Musketeer is quite a lot. Uh, katanas. Uh, what else? Really a lot of stuff we don't have, man. Jeez. Oh, wait, you can actually store this? I can I can store the armor. I actually have the top and bottom. I'm going to store that. Actually. Cool, cool. Ooh, Ranger tights. I forgot we got those recently. And the Masters. I think our Masters are looking a lot better in terms of items. First, the uh, anchor piece. Bunch of the hoods. Wow, we got zero money pieces and over 300. That's crazy. Almost complete the samurai outfit, though. That's sick. Yeah, we get so lucky with the rope darkness stuff. Way too many of those. Way too many. But yeah, that's about it. Alright. Let's store this just to shear and store some ancestral in there. Okay, guys, check out my. Clue scroll tab. There's really not much left. Just, you know, some random god pages and blessings and stuff that I can't store. So, yeah, I just saved. Oh my god, look at my bank space. 694. I have over 100 free bank slots, man. That is so badass, guys. That is so badass. Oh, I can actually store some random stuff like Ancestral, too. As well. Like, dude, I like never used this this year anymore. I'm, I'm just gonna store it in my house, honestly. <laughs> Save some bank space. Alright, thanks for guessing, guys. Let's open this up. Master Clue? Oh! 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 Yo! Lit! A unique item, man! Let's go! We got a unique item. Hell yeah. That's rare as hell, isn't it? Isn't it like Anku rarity, you know? Like Gilded rarity? That's sick, man. I'll show you guys, though, before I put it away. Hell yeah, bro. We just got our first ever mummy set. Mummy piece in 325 masters. Oh, Berserker Ring. First one in like four or five diagonal tasks, dude. No, no joke. There we go. New quest done. Had to do it for the new music track safety and numbers. But this quest is really nice. You get 5,000 coins. That's like a perfect quest to do early on on a new account. Absolutely. And we get the Spy Kids looking goggles here. That's sick. Alright, let me try this out. I'm pretty sure Inquisitor is Zamrak. I mean, there's like a Sammy symbol right there. And I couldn't uh, wear it while I was doing Sepulchre because they don't allow non star items. So, yeah, there we go. It does work. Sick. It's good for this uh, clue step. I think I'm glitched. I'm glitched. This is impossible. Oh my god, I got it. Oh, <laughs> yo, I, dude, that shit took like, oh man, that actually took like 50, bro. Wow, that was insane. That was insane, bro. 50 fish, like at least. All right, man, found another cool use, uh, clue related for the diary cape. If we go to follow door, with this cape here, this is a really quick way to do the uh, serve Fiven Master Clue scroll step. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.